Hello everyone, welcome to my new series, Topaz Tuesday. This is Gary D. Tynecourt from MoreThanASnapshot.com and I'm gonna to try to introduce you to a new plugin or a new feature from Topaz every Tuesday. Um, today I wanna to talk to you about a new update from Topaz and it's an update to Sharpen AI. They've added two new important features and I'm gonna show you what they are today. And the nice thing is this update is free for people who already have purchased Sharpen AI. And if you haven't, it's going on sale and I'll put a link down in the description where you can check it out for yourself. So let's head over to the software and see what's new. Okay, so here is the new beta version of Sharpen AI. And on Thursday, I suppose they're going to release the full version for everyone to download. And you can do that by going to topaz.com forward slash downloads if you already own the software. If not, I'll have a link in the description where you can check out how to get it. So let's take a look at the two things that are new and improved in uh, this version. And the first is that they have added support for multiple images. So if I click open, and I come down to uh, some raw images here. I'll just pick uh, three images and open them up. And you can see here, it'll open up as many images that you put here. And then it'll create a preview and it'll let you zoom in and move around and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to zoom down to this part of the image so we can see the owl. And you can click on each image name and check out a preview of what e each image looks like. And it looks like I have to do some recentering. Right now I have the before and after view turned on. So I should probably shut that off first. Okay, here's the third image in the series. All right, so I'll come back up to image number one. All right, so here's the first image. If I click on the before and after view, I can see them side by side, or I can click on the split view and sort of see half. This left side will be the uh, side that nothing has been done to, and the right side will be the sharpened side. Okay, now when I look over here, I can sharpen, stabilize, and focus uh, with these three sliders, but it seems to apply the same effect, the same amount of the effect to all three things. So in other words, if I'm on sharpen and I go up to 100%, it seems to automatically add those for stabilize and focus. Now it says in the instructions when you open this up, don't push it to 100%, it'll start to look fake and all that kind of stuff. But I was having a hard time seeing the difference with these raw files, at least, until I pushed it up to 100%. So that's what I'm going to do for this video, because I want you to hopefully be able to see a difference. So here, this image is uh, sharpened up to 100%. And you really have to look closely at the detail in the face, in the feathers. Right there, you can see a pretty dramatic improvement in the sharpness in those feathers. I could suppress noise, but this image is not very noisy, so I'm not gonna do that. I could also add grain, and again, I don't think this image needs that. The main thing I'm you know, focused on is getting a sharper, cleaner image. Let's take a look at image number two. Again, we're at 100%, okay? I am seeing more detail showing up here in the face. Let's click on um, Stabilize for a second to see if we see something different. But I believe it's applying those settings, the 100% remove blur function for all of those. Actually, no, I, I just saw a, a big difference when I went to Stabilize. Look at that. So you do have to click on each one individually to set their effect. So here you can see that 100% is too much, although it's a nice dramatic effect for this video. Um, let's take it down a little bit.
All right, now it doesn't look quite so fake, but yet we're still seeing quite a dramatic change. I wonder if I go back to sharpen now and just take that down a little bit. See, it did it automatically down to 66. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with the numbers. It seems to be changing it again on all three, but the effect was dramatic when I went from sharpen to stabilize. So let's check out focus. And I'll click the third one and I'll leave it at 66 and see how that comes out. And it's back to being blurry again. So it would seem like uh, you would try the three different options, the sharpen, the stabilize, and the focus to see which one has the most beneficial effect on this particular image. Sharpen has a nice effect on the image, but not as dramatic as if I go to stabilize. Look at that difference. Uh, this eye totally becomes much, much clearer and sharper. That's, that's a really great job right there. Very impressed with that effect. All right, let's go to the third image, see what happens with this one. Obviously these images had motion since the owl was jumping out of the tree. So that may be why Stabilize is having a bigger effect. Let's go back and start at Sharpen. Again, I'm seeing a small effect with that. And stabilize a much bigger effect. Look at how the face really sharpens up. Okay, that's very impressive. Since it's showing stabilize, I think what it, this program is really doing is you, you try all three of these to see which one has the, the best effect on your image and you play with the sliders to get it to be just the right amount. And then you're done, you process your image. Now, there is one other new feature that we can work with here and that is this brush up here at the top. So you have some masking ability so that you don't sharpen everything. So if I was doing this image, I would want everything uh, on, the, on the owl itself to be sharp, but I wouldn't want a lot of this background stuff to be sharp. So I might click hide and then paint away all of this area out here where it's just twigs that are kind of out of focus. And of course you take your time and uh, you would do a good job of that. Oh, and I could have also made this much larger and that would have been much easier. And you can see the red overlay shows you the mask that you're getting rid of here. And it shows you down here that you're painting uh, with black. So I'm just gonna do a quick job so it should be taking away the stabilization and the sharpening away from these areas. Now, if I apply the mask, all right, now that I updated the preview, you can see that the owl's face is still nice and sharp. You can even see the tree branch right back here is also getting sharpened. But if we look out here where 
I use the masking, we're not seeing a difference because we removed the sharpening from this area, which is important because you don't want to sharpen noise and sharpen areas that don't have any importance to the image. You, some parts of the image you just don't want to be sharper. So here on the main branch, you can see that it got sharper, but out here where we painted away the mask, it's not sharper. Right? Once you get used to the little quirks of this software, um, I think it does work really well. I mean, just look at the improvement in the face of this owl. It's fantastic. Then all you have to do is click Start Batch Process. You can have it use the suffix automatically so you know the difference between your original file and the file that this creates. Again, I am working on raw files. Um, I can save it to the source directory with where the original files are. And if I want, I can convert the file format. So in this case, I will, um, yeah, I'll say yes. Let's convert it to a JPEG, a high quality JPEG. We'll keep the color profile. That way it'll be obvious what's different between the new file and the old file. I'll click process. And here we'll see it's gonna go through the steps of processing these images. Now this could vary depending on how fast your computer is. I have a fairly powerful computer, relatively new. So, and you can see here that it is taking a little bit of time to work, but it's chugging along through the process. Okay, one image took one minute and 33 seconds. I guess that's not too bad. All right, so it looked like it took about a minute and 33 seconds for each image to process. And this is on an i7 with six cores and 32 gigs of RAM. So. If your computer is older or slower than that, your time may vary. All right. The nice thing is it looks like they may have added a link, a link that will take you to the images. And let's click on this one. This is the stabilized image. Let's look at another one. Let's zoom in on this image. All right. You can see the face is nice and sharp. And it did a really great job on that. Let's check out the last one. And again, I'll zoom in on it. Again, the face is nice and sharp. All the feathers show a lot of detail. So it worked really well. That was Topaz Sharpen AI. The two new features were the multiple image processing and the ability to do masking. And I think both worked very well. And I think this is one of my favorite plugins by Topaz, and you should definitely check it out. Again, if you have already bought this program, you can just download the update. And if you haven't, it's going to be on sale. The regular price is like $79. It's going to be on sale for $59. And there will be a link down in the description where you can get it. If it's not on sale anymore, use the coupon code SNAPSHOT, and you can still get a discount. So again, this has been Gary D. Tonicourt from morethanasnapshot.com. Yeah.